Have I told you how much I appreciate the call to action widget, the CTA one over here? And there it is, call to action, let's drop it in. A lot of people sometimes look at this when they've added it and go, I don't want that. I want to have, you know, I want to do my own kind of like image and heading and button placement within a container, which is absolutely fine. I would encourage that as well. But a lot of them overlook what you get here. So what you get is an image at the top. Let's just go stick an image in. There we go. And we're going to make it be a full image. And I could, if I want, put it on the left like that, put it at the right or put it above. Again, someone might look at this and go, nah, it's a gimmick. I'm not really getting excited by it. You have your content as well with your heading. You can get rid of the description if you want. You can pop a description in. It's up to you. And you can say, is that link only active on the button or is it in on the entire box? So it doesn't matter where you click now, it's going to take you to where you want them to go. So it's really good. And if you use this inside of a loop grid, you can make it go to the post URL as well. So you can literally put call to action in as your template. When it repeats, it doesn't matter where you click, it will take you. But here's the big reason why I really like this. You will have spotted over here that we've got the zoom effect going on with the image. And I know the image is not right, so let's just sort that out. Let's just make this be a little bit slimmer so we can see the image. But we've got a zoom effect going on in there. And you could use JavaScripting third-party plugins. I know people that were using, I think, the premium add-ons. And they used to be the Elemental Mega something or Master add-ons or something just to get these features with the zoom effect or you were resorting to JavaScript. And if you got your JavaScript a bit wrong, it got a bit messy, but now you have the zoom effect. You can go to hover effects and you can now decide what's going to go on. But at the moment over here, we have a zoom in and I might want to change it to say move to the right like that. But you can go a step further. You could, if you want, Use this just for your image with no text or text or no button or have a button. Here's what I mean. You go over to your call to action. We've been using the classic skin. Go for the cover. Look at that. The words are now over. And when I move my mouse over, we get a bit of an effect on the wording. Let's go and tweak that. We go to style. We go to hover effects. Now we have animation for background and the word. So on the background, I'm going to go with zoom in. Look, we get the zoom in. For the words, I'm actually going to say, uh, I'll tell you what, let's go with slide in left. Okay. So there's no words, but you do that and then they come in. Okay. That is all being done within the call to action widget. You could, if you want, completely get rid of the wording. So if I, well, let me, let me show you, let me give you a warning. You get rid of the title, you get rid of the text, you get rid of the button and it will do that. Really easy to sort out. Just go and put a space in the title and everything is now back again. And you still have the link on the whole box. But look, see that image as it zooms in? It doesn't bleed out. So it's not like some images or JavaScript, they zoom and they actually expand on the screen. So if you've got two items side by side, as it zooms, it overlays the other image, which you might not want. This is all doing it within here. And if I was to just pop some of that text back and I go back to my style, look at my wording. I can pop it at the bottom. I can pop it at the top. I can align it to the left and go for the bottom like that. I can zero out all the padding and have full on control and go, all right, just give me 10 there and give me 10 at the bottom as well. This is so brilliantly flexible and there's so much you can do with the styling as well. And even with the content, if this was inside of a loop grid, you could bring over the post title. You could bring over a custom field. You can go over with the description and bring over the post excerpt or a custom field, like I just said. So the versatility with what you can do with the call to action widget is so underappreciated. I mean, it's one of my best widgets to use. When I'm doing a loop grid, I can either create a template complete from scratch or you know what? Why don't we just use the call to action widget? You could have a post template. You know what? We're going to have an alternate template every four or five posts. We're going to have something a little bit different. How quick and easy is that to use rather than you image JavaScript or another third party plugin and I drop in a heading and I drop in a text editor. You can do all of this. And like I said, if you don't want to have the button, look, you get rid of the button. Doesn't matter. We are still applying the link on the whole box. You can even open up a pop-up if you want when you click on the box. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow.
I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss.